Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study subtracting integers. First of all, let's look at these two patterns because I think they will be enlightening to you, okay? If you have not studied this before. First of all, we have here 6 minus, and you know, this number is increasing in each step. So 6 minus 4 is 2, 6 minus 5 is 1, and 6 minus 6 is 0. Now, when you look at the pattern in the answers, you can see what this next one has to be. It has to go down by ones, right? So this has to be negative 1, and this has to be negative 2, and this has to be negative 3. If you have studied number line jumps, you probably understand it easily, or you can think of it as money. Let's say you have $6, and you want to buy something that is $7. You cannot buy it. You would go $1 into debt, negative 1. Now this one is a little bit more interesting because of what we come to in the end. Can you see that? 4, four minus 3 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, and then here's 4. Look, it is increasing by 1 in each step. So this one must be 5, right? And this one must be 6, logically speaking, so that the pattern will be made to work. Interesting, isn't it? 4 minus negative 2 equals 6. It got bigger. It is like 4 plus 2, right? And that is exactly what I want you to notice. That here it looks like 4 minus negative 2 is like 4 plus 2. And this one here, 6 minus 9 or 6 minus 8 or those, those are actually the same things as 6 plus negative 9. This here, 6 minus 8. It's actually the same, same as 6 plus negative 8, okay? 6 positives and 8 negatives, so we will have 2 negatives as a result. In other words, any subtraction, whether it is a subtraction of a positive number or subtraction of a negative number, can be turned or changed into an addition instead. And you already know how to add integers, okay? So that reduces the problem of subtraction into a problem of addition, which you already know how to do. And how do we do this? How do we change any subtraction into an addition? Okay, you can see here that the subtraction changes into addition, and the 9 changed into negative 9. Over here, subtraction changed into addition, and the negative 2 changed into 2. Okay, so two steps. The subtraction changes into addition, and then the number you're subtracting changes into its opposite. If it was a negative number you're subtracting, change it into the positive, and vice versa. Let's try it here. 2 minus 5. Maybe you already know the answer. But if I want to practice writing this as an addition, how to change the subtraction into an addition, I write 2 plus, and then this 5 changes into its opposite negative 5. Okay? So I add some negatives. The answer is then negative 3. There's more negatives. Negatives win by 3 points or 3 counters. Over here, again, this minus 3 won't change. I'm going to change this into an addition. And instead of 4, I add now negative 4. Okay? So this is now negatives. And add some more negatives. The answer is negative 7. Over here, the negative 6 won't change. This changes into an addition. And the minus 2 or negative 2 changes into a 2. Okay? And so now I have negative 6 plus 2. Negative 6 counters and 2 positive counters. So the negatives will win. I have negative 4. When you have this double negative, you can just kind of remember a little shortcut that, oh, this changes into a big positive. So what about number line jumps with subtraction? They work just fine. Let me show you some. This would mean that I start at negative 2 and I jump 5 steps to the left. Start here, 5 steps to the left. So it goes over here to negative 7. I start at the negative side and I get more negative. Okay? 2 minus 4 starts at 2 and jumps 4 steps to the left. Over here to negative 2. And then this one, where you have the double negative, now you already know that we're going to change it into a plus, big plus. 
But with the number line jumps, if you want to kind of visualize it this way, start at negative 4. Okay, we start here. And then since it is subtraction here, you get ready to go left. Three steps. But this other negative here makes you change your mind so that you instead jump that way, to the right. Those three steps. And so you go over here to negative 1. But the shortcut is probably easier. Just think of it as negative 4 plus 3. Now what about if you have many numbers, mixed additions and subtractions? What should you do? There are several ways you can solve this. One way is just to go step by step from left to right. And just deal first of all with this. 2 plus negative 3. Whatever you get from that. And then once you have solved that, then take that minus 5. So, for example, 2 plus negative 3, that is negative 1. And then negative 1 minus 5, so we go further into the negatives, we get negative 6. I'll show you another way, though, to do it too. And that is that we change any subtraction in here into an addition. And so our problem would change to 2 plus negative 3 plus and the opposite of 5 is negative 5. In other words, we are adding negatives. And then, when, once you have this, then you add all the negatives together. That's negative 8. And then you have 2 plus negative 8. Okay? Which is, of course, the same. It's negative 6. Over here, again, one way to do it is to start here and go in order. Start with negative 4 minus 4. Do this subtraction first. Negative 4 Minus 4. It's like a number line jump. Negative 4 and 4 steps over there. So this is negative 8. And then add to that negative 2. More negatives. Negative 10. We get negative 10. Or the other way is to change this subtraction here into an addition. Instead of subtract 4, you add negative 4. And now you can see it is an addition of three negatives, three negative numbers. And so we just add 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10. And notice that it has to be a negative sum. Over here, since this is a little bit more complicated, it is actually quicker to change these subtractions into additions. And then add all the negatives, add all the positives, and lastly add those sums. And uh, this is kind of how I would do it. I would not necessarily write a second step where I change each subtraction into an addition of a negative number. I just recognize that this is an addition of a negative. If you subtract 6, it's the same as adding a negative 6. So I gather together all the negatives. This much, this much, this much, and this much. Those all are my negatives. And I add them. So there's 5 and 6, 11, another 11. So 22 negatives. This changes into 22 negatives, and then add 8 positives. And here the negatives will win, but I subtract 22 minus 8 to get 14 to find out by how much the negatives win. So the end result is this, then negative 14. Now here, lastly, we have an expression. We're going to evaluate an expression, those big words, right? Find the value of this expression, 2 minus a minus b. When, first of all, a is 3, and b has the value of negative 4, and then something else here, just the other way around. Okay, so I just plug in 3 here, and negative 4 there, and see what I get. I will have 2 minus 3 minus negative 4. Alright, again, there's two ways to go about this, like I explained here. I can change everything into additions, or I can deal with it step, one step at a time. And this time, since it is only two different operations here, I think I will deal with it one step at a time. 2 minus 3 is pretty easy to handle, that's negative 1. Then this one I'm going to change into an addition, using my shortcut of double negative changing into a positive. So I change it into negative 1 plus 4, and that is 3. Let's see what happens when we switch the signs. I take 2 minus a. 2 minus and then a is negative 3. And then minus b. Like that. 
Okay, let's change this into an addition here. I get 2 plus 3, 5, minus 4 equals 1. That's a totally different result as there, which was to be expected. Okay, we're all done, and I hope this was helpful.